in just a few minutes. Stephanie? You don't think about too much when you're out on the water and in Eagle River this weekend, seven wounded warriors from around the country were able to enjoy that relaxation. News Watch 12's Ali Herrera caught up with one of them before his trip back home to Texas. What is it about the outdoors that, that just helps guys heal? Tyson Scott may never know the answer to that question. But what he does know is the outdoors has helped him and many other veterans. I've seen it save lives and everything, and so it's just kind of one of those things I really believe in, and that's why I'm here. Scott joined the Marines right out of high school in 2003. I barely turned 18 when I hit the yellow footprints in San Diego, so I did a lot of learning in those three months. And three years later, Scott was in Iraq when an explosion permanently injured his right foot. That explosion left him with broken bones, but not a broken spirit. I wouldn't take it back for anything. I'd get blown up again, it doesn't matter, you know. I, I love my time and, and uh, how I've lived life, I guess, to this point. Now he's part of the Wounded Warriors in Action program that brings together wounded Purple Heart veterans from all over the country. <laughs> This weekend, seven of those men traveled to Eagle River, some coming from as far as Pennsylvania and others from right here in the North Woods. These guys have given so much. They are really our true American heroes. And uh, boy, it's the least we can do. Fishing legend Joe Booker helped the guys with some new fishing skills. He knows just how important these moments can be. No matter what, where they live and what they're doing, we get to take them into our world for an afternoon, and it's just, a, it doesn't get any better than that. A world that's bringing together warriors from all walks of life. We can get out here, we can sit around a campfire and just have fun. We're covering the news in Eagle River. Allie Herrera, News Watch 12. Food Panther.